Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, search for some devices on our network and we're going to add them to uh, add them to eView to the eView system. So the, we're going to use Ethernet Ether1 Discovery first. All right, when we click on devices and Ether1 Discovery, uh, you'll see a little box with that shows all of your available network interface cards. Um, I have here a, an Ethernet connection, obviously, and a Wi-Fi connection. I don't need to discover switches on our Wi-Fi network, so I'm going to use uh, just Ethernet, and I'm going to click Discovery. And very quickly, we have a list. We have one, two, three, four, five switches on my little network here, and only one of them has an edit button. So what this screen is for is for newly, is for finding on your network your newly installed switches, all right? And the, and the the way that eView thinks that a switch is newly installed, it's going to look for the IP address. The default IP address for Ethernet switches is 192.168.1.10. All right. So once I'm here, I can very quickly, if I know the MAC, the MAC addresses of the newest uh, switches on my network, I can click the Edit button. And now I can change my IP address to something, whatever my network uh, uh, system is set up as. All right, so when I change the IP address, I can change the subnet, I can change the default gateway, and I will click Update. So now I have uh, the .1.60 switch that I just changed to, and uh, according to the eView software, um, all of my devices uh, are have compatible IP addresses. That is to say, nothing is default. Okay, so having assigned uh, all of the switches to compatible IT, IP addresses for my next work, to my network, next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the search function. All right, the search is uh, lets you do an IP range search. All right, to find find switches within a given IP range, it's pretty standard. Now I'm going to do a search uh, 192.168.1.1 from 192.168.1.say 230. That's fine. I'm going to click the search button. This will take a this will take a second. And there they are. Okay, it's just going to be the same five five switches. We get a little bit more information now. All right, here's the same IP address, same as before. We can now see the system name. We can see the MAC address. We can see the Ether1 series number of the switch. We can see the firmware version that it's running. And now there's an add button, list status. This means we're going to basically add these switches into the eView system, so eView will stop to manage. Uh, what does that mean? Well. Right now, on our home screen, which is the, the first screen that comes up when we run the program, there's supposed to be a topology view. Because I haven't added any switches to eView yet, that topology view is empty. So I'm going to go back to my list. Oh, sorry, not list. Search. Here's so I'm going to go back to my search screen. And I'm just going to click the Add button. Bang, 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 and bang. All right. So now, if I go back to the home screen, we will see we will see all of the, all of the switches on my network